I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a stocking. So you're going to need some yarn. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you exactly how to do the stripes and all that. So you're going to need some scissors to cut your yarn throughout your project. And I'll kind of show you when you would stop, cut your yarn and start your new color. I'm also using a four millimeter crochet hook. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's just a smaller one. This will be helpful to tie knots and stuff like that. And then I have a nine millimeter crochet hook that I got from Hobby Lobby. So to get started, we're going to make a magic loop. And how you do that is put the yarn like this on your two fingers, wrap it around once. And then the second time you wrap around, you wanna go crisscross with your fingers, you'll take your hook, go underneath this loop and pull that second loop under and make sure you twist like this, how it, just how it is. And then we'll go back over and grab the working yarn and pull it through that loop. So that is a little circle that we have and we're gonna be crocheting around this circle. Go ahead and, so after you secured one little stitch, go ahead and do one more stitch. So there's your single. So now I have two, technically two. Now we'll go ahead and loop around and then we'll go inside that loop. Make sure you're going around this strand as well. This needs to be like looped around. So there's two strands. So go in and under that loop, grab the long piece of working yarn, pull it under. Now you have the three loops right here on your hook. Grab the working yarn and pull through all three loops. That was a half double crochet stitch. Wrap around into the loop, grab the working yarn. You got three loops, pull the working yarn through all three. So we created another double half crochet stitch. So we're gonna go ahead and create seven of those all together because we have that first one right here with the two stitches. That will count as one. So there's one, two that we created. There's two, three. We just did three. Well, we did two double halves, but we had that first one that we work with, okay? So we want eight all together. So there's four. five and eight. Now that we have eight stitches on our magic ring, we can pull this tail right here and that will actually close the circle in. And then we're gonna connect it. So just leave that hanging. We're then gonna connect it by doing a slip stitch. So you'll find where you first started right here, put your hook into the two loops grab the working yarn, pull through that stitch right there, then also pull that loop through your last loop. And that will complete your little small circle that we just stitched together, okay? Go ahead and do a stitch there. I go ahead, and I also do another stitch just so that it's like even when we work our way around this. So now we have you know, this is, I just count this as one right here, okay? And we're gonna be doing double half crochets again. So it's loop around. So you start with, you know, two loops. Find your next stitch, which is right here next to it. Go through both of those loops right here. Pull the working yarn through. So you got three loops. Wrap around and pull through all three. Okay, loop around. And we're gonna go into the next one. And then I'm gonna actually put another stitch into this hole, the same hole. So I just did one stitch and then two. So the next one will be one stitch. And then the next will be two. So I'm just alternating the that pattern. And that's just to give the circle um, so it gets wider and it doesn't start to curl up just yet on us. So we need one in this one, 
and then two in this hole. And then one in this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and count that as my last one. You could go into the next one, but I'm not going to. I'm then actually we'll probably I'll probably go ahead and do one more. We'll do one more. Then I'll close it off. So I'll find where I started, which was right here. And then we're just doing the slip stitch again where you pull the working yarn through all of those loops. Do a single stitch, another one, and now we're gonna be working on, this will be the third row. So as you can see, it's starting to slowly kind of curve upwards a little bit, which is awesome, but we don't want it to curve up too much just yet. So go ahead and loop around. We'll find our that next stitch. And this time I'm going to be putting two into that hole. And then we're going to be doing one. And two. And then do one. And then two. So we're just alternating that pattern. If you get lost, you can just like look at the last one that you just did. There's two in this hole. So there's one, my last one right here. Then we'll connect them with a slip stitch. And do a single stitch. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to curve upwards a little bit which is perfect this is going to be the toe we're working on the toe of the stocking go ahead and do another stitch so you got two there and then again we're just working on we're doing one and then do one and then do two Okay, and then it's one, one, and then two. One, one, two. We're approaching the end. I'm just going to go ahead and close it off. You're going to find the whole slip stitch, single, okay. So this is what it's starting to look like. It's kind of curving in, creating the, this dome shape. So now we just want to do a single set all the way around. And I'm just doing the same half double crochet stitch where we go where we're doing three loops. We're pulling through three loops at a time. So we're just doing one half double crochet stitch into each stitch that is there. I do wanna add that I did actually stop doing my crochet videos. I just didn't think a lot of people were that interested in the, the different stitches that I was teaching. That is something that I need to pick back up. Let me know. I still have the project sitting around so I can go back to it if I need to. Okay, now I'm at the end. I need to do a slip stitch. So there's the toe of our sock. If you don't like the way this looks on the outside, you can flip this inside out if you wanted to, which that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip it inside out. So this is now the outside. So here is about where you would then, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and do it. So you're gonna do another stitch to close this off, and make it tight. And then what you will do is actually cut this. So you'll cut this and then you pull it through. Then that will secure off your one color. Then you can take your other crochet needle and fish this through, pull it through 
down here somewhere. Tie a little knot with it. Okay, see what I'm doing? Tie a knot, and then you can cut this off, and then you're done with this first section, which is the toe. Then you'll grab your other color or whatever you're doing. You really want to find where you put that last will be like the back of the sock, okay? So I always try to start exactly where I left off. And I'll pull this through, the new color, just through one of the stitches there. And what I do is just tie three knots. Make sure that it's really secure. After you've got three, then you can cut this pretty close. And then I go back and I loop around this yarn and I pull it through to try to get that knot on the inside like this. So it kind of curves in. Do a single stitch. Do another stitch. So you got two stitches. Then we can move on. So we can continue with doubles. You could do triple, half doubles, whatever. Whatever stitch you want to do, you'll do your pattern. So here I'm going to actually do, go into the next stitch and we're just doing one stitch in every single stitch. So I'm going to do double. So a double crochet stitch would be, you got your three loops and instead of pulling this through all three, that's a half double. We're going to pull for, through the first two loops. Then you got two, grab it again and pull it through those two. That just created a double crochet stitch. So I'm looping around getting into that next hole, the next stitch, pull in the working yarn through, wrap around, pull through two, again, the same thing. So I hope that's pretty easy on that stitch. Pretty similar to the other stitch we did, it's just you're now creating two sections instead of just the single section and as you can tell we're now working on the outside of our piece instead of how i was doing it from the inside because we flipped this inside out i like to use a bigger needle that way you can get your work done faster you can use a smaller needle than this nine millimeter it's just your overall piece will take a longer time the stitches will be a lot smaller and i like them I like to just get the project done quicker so I don't mind having all these holes. Now this is mainly for decor. I wouldn't like really recommend putting a lot of little gifts. You could put some wrap things in there, some candies or whatever, but maybe not too much because you don't want to weigh it down and ruin what you made. And you can make this bigger if you want. Instead of doing what I did here with this one, you can actually just go ahead and go bigger and make a larger stocking by adding more to the circle here making it more flat so instead of doing like one and then two and then one like what we did in that first row you could actually just do two in every single one and that's going to create like more of a flatter section here so that you can go wider if that makes sense to go into the last do a slip stitch it's the same as the last rows we did we just pull it through like that then do one to secure that and go switch back to this so that just completed another row here this little red piece i need to cut that off then you would cut this off and do the same thing we just did switch back to the red if you're doing stripes like that which i'm thinking i probably will just go ahead and do stripes i might as well so that off okay and right here is that little section that I need to be focusing on and again we're tying three knots to make sure it's really secured on there cut off your little tail there and then I pull it through that just puts that knot in the inside one and two now we can start the next row of red. You could go about this multiple ways. You could go into the top of the stitch right here, or you could go around. I'm gonna do something different here. So we're gonna, we're gonna do a double crochet stitch, what we just did, this same stitch, but we're going to do a front post, loop around, so you got two loops, go in behind that post, you can see that there's like a post right here. This is called a post. So we're gonna go in and under that post, 
grab the working yarn, pull under all that. Then you got your three loops, grab your working yarn, pull through two, grab your working yarn, pull through two. Wrap around, again, do the same thing. This is just creating a different like texture when we do this, creating these lines going that are vertical with this line. So I'm just repeating this all the way around. So I'm going to go through this one right here and do a slip stitch. Okay, and then we can go ahead and cut. Pull that through. Then again, we'll work this in the inside. That way you don't see where we're tying off pieces or whatever. Then you can go around like this and pull the red up. That way we can see it in the next row when we do our next row. Now this time around, I'm actually going to alternate it. And I'm going to go, I'm going to do a back post. So we're doing the same type of stitch, the double where we, you know, loop around, pull through two. But this time I'm going behind. We want to go behind and then through and then pull the yarn through and complete your double crochet stitch. So we're going like this way. I think this is really just going to make that red pop out even more so. So you can see this is what it's looking like. I sometimes like to switch this out when I connect because right here is where I need to connect. Okay. Doing our slip stitch. This will go through. Okay. And then one. Pull that through. So this is what it's looking like. Definitely looks a bit different and you don't have to do this pattern. You can continue with front posts or you don't have to do the posts. Like I said, you can go in to the, the top of the stitch right here and work that way. I just wanted to do something different, so. but you can kind of tug it and pull it, shape it how you want it. Now we're going back to the red. I'm sure there's different methods of tying on and tying off to when you switch out colors, but this is just what I've been doing and it seems to work just fine for me. I don't think it's too messy. As you can see, this is the outside. There's a little piece right here that's popping through. I don't think it's terrible. Okay. We're doing front post. So I need to go this way. So like I said, it did pop the red out right here. It gives this like really nice groove, just a different texture. So here we can do something different now. Like we could, we don't have to do these grooves all the way up. So that's what's fun about this project. Right, so we are ready to move on to the cream yarn. I always find the back, which right here is the back. You can see because of this little piece popping out. So I'll find that. I'm gonna pop in one of my needles, one of my hooks, pull some yarn through and tie it securely. Trim off our excess piece and then we can continue going. Go ahead and do two stitches, wrap around the hook and then we can move on. So at this point, we can do several different things. I'm gonna have this sort of pop out again. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing where I go in and then around this and pull the yarn through and then through two and then through two and do the same thing to the next. So I'm just doing my back post double crochet stitch. Yeah. 
you don't have to do two colors. You don't have to do stripes. You could do solid, one solid color. I suggest if you do a solid color that you, let me go grab, I already did a solid color. I'll show you what I, I had made this one for one of my nieces and it's a bit smaller <laughs> than the one I'm making. And you can make these as small or as big as you want. But I added a cute little pom pom to this one, but see how this one's a solid color. I did add the tip of the toe, the heel, and then up here, all white, just so that those pieces would stand out more. So this is an option as well, and then you won't have to be changing colors as often. But once we get to the heel, I cannot wait to show you. It's super easy to do the heel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this all the way around. So we're just basically repeating what we did in this step over here. Hopefully everyone's on the same page, and if you have no idea what I'm doing, I will link those videos down below so you can learn a little bit about how to crochet, how to do like the just the regular normal stitches to get started. I switched hooks because I want to go through this little small section to pull this through to do a slip stitch. Pull it through pull it through. It's kind of like smaller so I like to switch that out sometimes. Okay. Pull that through but again we need to kind of pull this because all of our stitches are sitting on this red one I want to pull it out so we have we're able to access this now typically when I'm doing my stocking to make it look a little proportioned I actually was doing where the stripe is so there's one two three white stripes I was putting my heel but this looks a bit short so I'm going to keep going a little bit more. Kind of want to get to, like from the tip, I want to get to about here where my hands are. So from here to here, that's about six, seven inches, give or take. The reason that this one is a bit shorter is because of the stitches that I had did in this. It's kind of pushing the yarn back down to create these like ridges. Anyways, I'm not going to do any ridges anymore. I might do some more at the end on the other half of the stocking but for this I'm gonna go ahead and do regular so you guys can also see without the front and back post is what I'm trying to say okay so I did my two stitches I wrapped around my hook ready for the next which I'm gonna skip this one just because there's this one it's like so close so but you can do what you want so this would be a regular instead of like going into here and around or this way you just find the stitch, which is the little V on the top, and you push it through those two, okay? Wrap around, push through those two, grab the yarn and pull through that. And then you could do a couple different ones. You could do like the double, what we just did, where you pull through here, pull through here, and there's one, two stitches in a row. Or you can also do like, if you wrap around and pull, put through here, wrap around again, you have the three loops. And instead of doing through the first two and then the second two, you could just take that yarn and pull through all three and also do a stitch that way. I'm gonna do the double just because I've been doing doubles right here, so I want it all to kind of match. But you have options of different type of stitches to get like a different look different design on your stocking another thing is like my stocking it's starting to get kind of wide and I don't want it to get too wide so sometimes instead of going through both of these I will go through the first one right here and then the last of the next like the one next to it to attach those as one pull through those and then finish off your stitching and then we're gonna skip all that and go to the next one and that basically just combined these two like together and that will initially like shorten your circle it gives us one less loop to go through and I don't do that a whole lot throughout the project because you're Stocking will start to look a little weird then you'll clearly be able to tell where it starts to be Smaller in sections and it just kind of looks weird So I'll just randomly throw one in there here and there like one of those things. I just showed you so do my slip stitch It's the only no annoying part about doing stripes is the constant 
switching and tying off. If you want it to not do as much, you can do two rows of your colors. Your stripes will be a bit wider though, but honestly, it's not a big of a deal. Okay, again, we're doing the same exact thing. I'm gonna skip that hole and go to the next just because there's like a cluster right here. It's the same exact thing what we just did. So I'm wrapping around, I'm finding where the hole is, is right here. Pull through, two, and two. I'm gonna do one more red. I always keep my scraps. I just wanted to let you guys know. So this is our last round of red until we do our heel. So the next round will be the heel. We're ready to do the heel. So what I like to do is I have this row of where I've been tying off my pieces. You can kind of see it. It's right here where my crochet hook is sitting. I like to center that in the middle like this. And then on the edge here, I will poke in my crochet hook, pull this through. We can, we got to tie it on here on the edge. We're only going halfway across this time. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so again, I'm going to lay this flat so you can see. Right here is that middle section w that we've been tying off. This is the back of the stocking, like, so it would actually open up this way, okay? So we're putting that in the middle. We start our heel on the side of it, and then we're going to loop this, like, just have a loop around, like one stitch. And then instead of looping around our hook this time, we're going into the next set of stitch pull our working yarn through so we have two loops so this would just be a single stitch so we're just gonna do a single stitch across the back of the sock that is about halfway then once we get to the end go ahead and do a stitch and flip the work around then right here is our next hole that we're going to go into not up in here but it right here go in pull the working yarn through go into the next one pull the working yarn through so then you have three loops on the hook and then wrap around your working yarn pull through all three loops okay i'm going to show you that again towards the end of it then for this, so that was the first two stitches here, one and two. This this third one here, would just go through like normal, like we just did on the bottom. Okay, I'm just going in, pulling through, two. It's just a single stitch. Got one more. Our last two right here, we're going to do the same thing we did at the beginning. So we're going to go in to one of them, pull the working yarn through, don't close it off yet. Go into the next one, pull that yarn through. So then you have three loops, then close it off. Do a stitch and turn your work. All right, we're gonna repeat that on this next row. Okay. So I'm finding the next stitch. There's two loops, go to the next stitch. There's three loops, pull that through three. And then it's one until we get to the last two and we'll repeat what we just did. I'm at the last two, so I go in, and then in, and then pull through all three. Go ahead and do a stitch and turn. You want to do this until you get to about six. I'm actually doing this completely wrong. I should have actually used red down here for the heel. I'm just going to keep going. I don't think it's that big of a deal. We're going to do it one more time because we at least went three rows of this. Go ahead and do one more stitch on that end. Turn your work. Now we're ready to go in reverse, and I'll show you how to do that. So we will go in, do a single stitch, go into the same loop and do a single stitch, and then move on till we get to the last one. Go in and do a single stitch, and then do it again in that same exact last one. Then do a stitch and turn, and repeat that. So that f the first and the last are going to get two single stitches. You'll see why after three rows of this, 
basically how to know what row I'm on. I'll pull this apart. You can see this tapers in and then it's going to taper back out. I line this corner up with down with this one. So if I fold this in half and you can see this does not line up with this corner. So we need to keep going. I think doing the heel is like the funnest part of this. I really do. We're on our last one here on the end. Unless this lines up. So now after three rows of it, I'm going to close this off. So just take the working yarn and pull through the last loop all the way after I, I cut some off. Pull that tight and then make sure you're on the outside, like this is the outside. Fold it towards you on the outside, not the inside of the stocking. Fold it on the outside. We're going to switch to this hook. It's a lot easier. Find the bottom of the white and pull this yarn through. And then I'm just going to keep going back and forth and finding little pieces and then just like pulling it through. And that's on the edge right here. We're kind of stitching these together. And then this little piece here, I'm gonna use for the other side. Cut off your excess. And then, this is the fun part, you flip this inside out. And then that is what creates the heel. Then you can push it back down where the this piece is on the back side and fold this in half. That's the heel of the stocking. I like to match these two so it looks more like this. Now that you're completed with the heel, I go back to opening it this way and I start in the middle of the heel and that's where I like to start my next row, my next color when I tie it on. I'm doing the double again. So when I get down to here, it looks a little tricky. There's a lot going on. So I make sure I get down to the very last one, the very last stitch right there in the corner. So I go through that. I pull through. I don't pull all the way through. I have three loops. I go to the next one here and pull through. So then I have four loops. I loop around and pull through three, loop around and pull through two. I'll show you that again on this corner. So then, I will actually go back in to this one because there's such a gap here. So I want to try to close that. There's still like a big gap. I'm getting close to that corner again. So I'll go ahead and show you. Here's the little gap. So I loop around. I go through the gap. Pull through. Okay. And then I'm going to pull through all three. Do the same thing. Loop around. Go through that same gap. Pull through. There's three. And then find the neck. Then you got four on your loop. Loop around and pull through three. And then you have two. Loop around and pull through those two. And then continue like normal. And do the next stitch. Go ahead and cut your yarn. Pull this through and tie it in the inside. Okay, tied on my white in the back. Okay, as you can see what I meant, like this is, it's getting whiter and whiter as we go. And you can see this red row is where I shortened it because it kind of sinks in right here. You can kind of pull it out, move it around so it doesn't look that noticeable. But up here is starting to get whiter and we want it to go in a little bit more. And we're doing the same thing with the red. I'm just going around. Okay, once I get a couple going, as you can see, the middle of our stocking is like the regular stitch. And then oh, down here at the bottom, we have that cool thing going on. So I'm gonna try to repeat this towards the top somewhere or in the middle of it. So however long, however big you make the bottom piece from here to here, you wanna try to almost double that in size on the top but i had done one two three four of the white stripes so up here i will try to at least get in five of the white but as you can see doing it this way goes faster because your stocking starts to become longer quicker versus doing this type of pattern it's more compact and you will have to continue like doing more and more and you also can do single stitches so that it's not so like there's it's not so holy but going this way you just get your project done quicker this one is where i'm going to start doing this kind of design down here again so it will be like this like a front post 
double crochet stitch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and act I'm gonna do a couple more rows. Like I said, I wanna at least get five of the white rows in. Once I reach about, cause this from here to here is about six, seven inches. I almost want that double in length up here. So I'm gonna, well not quite double. I'm gonna say I'm gonna do a total of like nine to 10 inches on the top. And then I will show you what I do with the very top to get this section right here and show you how to make a little thing to hang it. I will be back when I'm done with this. So part. off camera, I went ahead and just finished the rest of this off. So right here, I had done three more of the front and back posts to kind of match this similar design on the bottom here. And then I went ahead with the regular double crochet. I just did my last two rows. Now I need to create my top and I'm gonna be using red so that it matches the bottom. So if you look at it, it will be like red, white, red. So it's pretty it, much the same. You're just tying on your new color and we're gonna be, I'm gonna be doing half double crochet stitches on this last section where you loop around, go into your stitch, grab your working yarn, pull through. You got three loops on your hook, loop around and pull through all three. So that's the stitch I'm doing. That's just gonna create a little bit of a different texture just so it looks different. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this all the way around and just keep going with red. We don't need to tie off and cut or anything, just keep going. We're gonna go around this probably like, I want a good section because I wanna be able to fold it in half. So I wanna show you the other stocking I did. This actually is this long. And then I'm just able to fold this in half and have my little piece good four inches of red. So again, I'm gonna finish this off camera and show you how to do the very last, last piece. All right, so I went ahead and did about four inches of that half double crochet stitch. So now I just need to tie the last part off, then go ahead and fold it down just like this. So it's just like a couple of inches. And then you can stop here if you want. This is pretty much our stocking, but I'm gonna, I just have a little bit of white. I'm gonna work in a little piece right here to be able to hang the stocking. So I just put my yarn like this, twist it around, grab this, pull it through. And I just use the little one to do this little piece. I'm gonna do about 15 stitches here. Okay, so there's a little piece right here. Then I'm going to put in, go to the next stitch here, get your working yarn, pull through. You got two loops, pull that through, and then just continue down the line doing this. Once we go all the way down, and then we're gonna be left with this little piece of strip of crochet. See how small it is. Go ahead and pull this through the last loop and cut it like that. So then now you have two little pieces hanging there. Okay. I leave those attached and then I fold this in half. I find the back, make sure this is down in here. I kind of pick up a couple random pieces, push this through the back of this then through the back of this, and then pull that piece all the way through to the other side. I go ahead and repeat this on this side. And then I tie a simple little knot with these two, and then I pull them back through to the other side. So I'll grab some down here of the red, and I'm making sure I'm not grabbing like up in here, just this like, bottom section right in here and again I will poke it through all the way through grab the piece and pull it through all the way to the front and we do the same thing over on this side like this just so it's secured on to the stocking and whatever you put in the stocking it's not gonna like rip right in here I do three knots and that's pretty much secured on to the back of the stocking. It's it's pretty tight. So you can go ahead and cut these here 
however you'll see them. So I just like to, I like to weave them up through here. So I'll grab both of them and pull them through. Weave them a couple more times. Pull them to the inside and in the back and then cut them off. So that's hidden away, whatever. So basically here's the stocking, it's completed. Now you can give it to somebody, make a new one, whatever you wanna do. Like put some candies in there and hang it. Make these for your kids, gifts for people. I love them, I think they're adorable. So I hope you guys give this a try. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great holiday. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.